Yo, yo, welcome back to another video. It's your boy Sideways here, back on another video playing some more Madden NFL 24. And this video is going to be about Vincent Wilfork. Man, man, this car right here, he got 98 speed, 99 throw power, 97 short, 97 mid, 99 deep accuracy. 99 throwing the pressure, 98 throwing the run, 88 play action, 6'2", 325 pounds. And, bro, he got 99 juke, 99 spin, 95 change of direction. Bro, this car is, is a low-key OP. I haven't used this car at all, so I don't know how his um, release is going to be. But he do got charged up, angry runs, escape artist, gift wrap, conductor, gunslinger, match technician, and set feet lead. And then that's his team Kim's right there. And he's a scrambler archetype too, so you got to get loose with him. And then I got to do this, bro, because, bro, I was playing with him, playing with this car. I got to have my boy with Freight Train, bro, because oh, if y'all haven't watched that Johnny McZell gameplay, go check it out. We and Perry were struggling, because, like, like he, he, he was getting yards, but it's like, because I need you break tackles, bro. You feel me? Getting sacked, break him off, and, you know, With keep, Charles keep Davis, going. as always, I'm Brandon Gardner. Charles, well, you're talking about straight in this team. This one. I think it begins you got that Tom Brady, Jermaine Davis, Certainly and Bobby the Wagner. The and nowadays, I don't think you can get by for long periods of time without a top-flight quarterback. The way the game is played, he's in the green all the responsibility he has, he and how the game flows through too. him, if he's not on the top of his game, your team's not going to benefit at all. Here's the putter now, Pat McAfee, right, to come get on, this yeah. one started. And here we go. We're underway in Madden Ultimate Team. Like, come on, break out the damn tackle. But that, that key to lead, never mind. He's really going to break that. Three yard line. Well, I think it was. Yeah, that could be a key to lead or Charles Wilson. Come on, guys. Come on, man. Try to pick your plate, dog. Let's go now. Bro, his, his name. I'm Meg loving it, bro. We can't lose, guys. <laughs> Just off that nonsense. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. Bro, I felt like I had like a dime, bro. How about the defense there trying to set the tone of the very first play? I felt like I had a dime, bro. There's a little bit of a glow here tonight because they brought the heat right out of the gate. What a good job establishing the tone for this one. And this turns into disaster. He's not going to get forward progress. Bro, his, like, it's like it's not throwing. Like, I'm trying to throw it, but he's throwing that shit slow. They caught him on back-to-back plays breaking through the line. No amount of evading was going to save him from a sack on either play. And on the last one, he ran too deep into That's the a fumble, bro. That's an avalanche hissing his ass. And when do pitches work? Okay, every time I pitch in there, they act like they just dumb. You got pressure, I got pressure too. Well, they certainly came out firing in this one, and while that one was incomplete, I can't imagine that would be the last shot that they take in this game. Throwing his Brady on third down. He's got his running back out of the backfield. A well and he's going to have a Packers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. On first down, Brady. That's complete to Calvin Johnson. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. He's on KO. And that is incomplete. 
But that's getting incomplete. That's the same shit. Well, it doesn't take any great analysis. No jokes, partner, okay? All right, on this one. But we just know that we're going to see this as the game moves forward. There's going to be two guys on him on just about every snap. It's kind of a dare to throw his way, but... Oh, he can't get away, and Brady will go down. Seventh play of this drive coming up, but a long way to go on third down. Damn, can I get on my user? Damn. Now Brady. He's got the connection to Moore. And he's going to be taken down here still a couple yards short of the first. Ooh. Oh, <laughs> Come on. Intercepted. Picked off by Micah Parsons. And they will finally get him as he's all the way down near the 40-yard right line. Michael Parsons. I just put him in a hard flat. I'm surprised he didn't mean, like, you know, really go out to the hard flat or nothing like that. But, hey, do you, you know, good shit if you're going to keep doing that. They'll start by running the option to the right. Give him four yards there on the first down keeper. Typically on the read what? option play, when we talk about responsibilities, we're talking about what the quarterback has to go through. How about the inside linebacker, though? His job on this play, shadow the Where quarterback and hold him to a short game. Right. Did it to explainable. perfection. Explainable. Second and six. Got his man complete over the middle. That's Perry. And he's brought down at the 34. Call it a gain of four. That might feel like a little bit of a lost opportunity there for the offense because the defense brought pressure that time. And sometimes against that, you can get out to your running back and it can turn into a big game down the field. What a nice job they did getting to him quickly and holding him to a short game. Now throwing on third down there, but he cannot connect. Would have been a decently long field goal, 51 yards from here, but instead they're going to go for it. They'll look to throw. Able to throw the open man. That's complete. And he is going to have the Packers first down. They go for it on fourth and two, and it's a gain of six. Now a throw here to his running back. Oh, he was still up, though. Almost gets to the 10. It's a gain of 16 and a first down on, for the green and gold. Hey. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. Oh, come on. Touchdown, Packers. Larry Fitzgerald. A 12-yard touchdown grab. Nah, he, 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 got a, he got some good defense. We ain't, ain't going to go for two. I want to go for two because that's probably like the smartest the thing to kind of do in a way. But it's really like you want to get to eight. And then, like, if he scores a touchdown, he's going to ten or nine. You feel me? So, it, right now, it don't matter, bro. I feel like at the same time. Like, it matters to me, but this ain't something that you need to execute now. You feel me? Beyond the 20, but not by much. In fact, just a yard pass there to the 21. About set to get this drive started. The Green Bay offense at the line. And we'll see if they can bounce back from that last drive. In particular, if they can bounce back at the quarterback position, Charles, after throwing their first interception of the ball game. Yeah, and some guys, you know they're going to want to try and get a big play right away and take control of that. Thank you, Thank you. Shorter passes go a little momentum back that way. But for the defense, that goal's not changing a bit. They want another pick. You're exactly right about that. In fact, you gotta watch them a little bit. Oh, he quick, I mean. They may cut down their gaps a little bit. Hey, why did you come down the left side? It's a Don't what are you celebrating for, dog? Calvin Johnson. What are you celebrating? Nine yards. And the Packers are once again back in front. Matt LaFleur, he tells the offense, stay out there, go for two. They'll try to run it here. And he'll get into the end zone. Again. See, that's why my black ass should win for two. All right, cause, so we are celebrating it because you, what, now okay, to all right. Here's maybe. Pat McAfee to kick. Return man showing it here. 
Still going past the 30. Let's celebrate then, nigga. Let's celebrate then. I know a lot of special teams coaches, they just want to keep it away from him because that's what he can do. And others have egos that their players can't keep up with. And they say, challenge him. Kick it to him. The way he runs as fast as he is, I wouldn't challenge him at all. I'd do everything possible to keep it away. And let's celebrate then. Like, as soon as you celebrate, I did a kick return. got a full head of steam there. Hey, like, come on, bro. So now the me other return teams out there as they'll try to duplicate what they just saw. And he'll be tackled. Come on, that's a hit stick. That was by Ray Lewis, too. That should be a fumble. Come on now. And this should be the final play before the quarter ends. Throwing on first down is Brady. An entertaining start to this one. More to come on EA Sports. From the 29, here's second and five. Here's Brady. Come on, we didn't get pressure right there, bro. Like, yeah, all day. Eight yards there and give him a first down. Yeah, big play there. And when you have a running back that you can use like a wide receiver, when he has that kind of versatility, all day, you do as they did there. Get him out of the backfield and give those defensive backs something to worry about. So into Packer territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 43. Brady now to throw. Got a man. Hey, how is the I literally just man his ass up. Calvin Johnson with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Packers have yet again retaken the lead. So what can Brady do here is he'll lead his guys up to go for two. Yes. Thank you. Why y'all can't do that the first time? <laughs> Imagine we could have took that all the way back, though. I love having a football in the booth. I always hang on to it. It makes me feel like I actually played back in my day. Well, you probably could have. If you had run that play, you would not have fumbled. I can tell you that. Maybe. A no abilities and player could just tack me and see what free train is crazy. Right around the 15. <laughs> it's crazy. Okay, the Packer offense ready to get their next drive underway. This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out. Look and repeat that in Charles's defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. Oh yeah, I'm frustrated because these niggas not be scoring. I'm literally sitting there. Game plan for this drive. Oh, what's the name of it? Like manning him up. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better. Can step up and assert its well over the other. Back to back good plays have them on the move on first down. They'll drop the throw. Looking left side, that's caught by Moore. And he gets this one to midfield before he's brought down. From the midfield strike, they'll look to throw. But it's incomplete. Boy, he doesn't drop yeah, anything like that one. To second me, it seemed like the thing low-key kind of like stuttered. And and I, as soon as I hiked it, I threw it, but I couldn't even really do it. They get this to Beckham on the perimeter. Little razzle-dazzle hey, get off me. BJ. Get off me. inside the 35. First catch there for OBJ, and that good for a first down. Back to throw again. Let's celebrate. <laughs> and the Packers have taken the lead. 
Let's celebrate. Come on now. Play downfield for the score. I think what we just saw there, partner, was what we call scheming a guy open. Put him in the slot. Come on know now. That he has tremendous speed. I ain't a lot of that. Your other receivers I ain't hold is likely running short routes hold to draw the attention closer oh, to the line of scrimmage him. to give him a chance to get downfield and turn it into a one-on-one -on -one route, often against the safety. You like your odds when he's running against the safety. His speed usually wins, and it did on that play. And he'll get into the end zone to make it a five-point game. Following the touchdown, we gotta get, we gotta get a turnover, bro. He's doing the same fucking play. Same play. And some good special teams coverage as they bring him down just outside of the 15. I'm gonna do something different. Ah, oh, damn, I did not mean to do this. About set to get this drive started. The Green Bay offense at the line. And right now, we've got a little bit of an offensive masterpiece going on both sides, moving the football. And he can see my play. He knows I'm in the cover for like goddamn. The defense on rookie mode in this one. I mean, we haven't even left the first half, Charles, and we're certainly on pace oh, for the actually, I am going to do this, right? Offenses. The fans have to be enjoying this to see all these points go up on the board. As a former defender, you know I'm not enjoying this at all, but right now, both these teams just trade. I forgot about him doing his big. anyone slips up first, can anyone counter the nice little jab and get things going in their direction? So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Here's Brady to throw. Flushed out right. It's Jeff. Hey, I couldn't react to it. Hey, come on, that should have been a pick. Don't you not think so? A really good pickup of 28 yards. That's that bull. Hey, that's that bull. Brady now on first down. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. To throw is Brady. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. What would look like a march to the end zone is hit a momentary roadblock with that incompletion. No need to panic. They just got to come up with a high percentage play call and see if they can get their offense back on track. It's going by Jackson. Fumble that. That's Avalanche. First down as the tackle's made at the Packers 17 yard line. Into the red zone. It's Brady. Flush to his right. And time finally runs out. He can't get rid of the football. Is and he's taken down. Dude. Protection certainly going to need to be a bit better here on second and 16. Brady going to throw. Thank you. Oh, it's intercepted. A drive killer there. It's the Pro Bowl quarterback, Richard Sherman. And the Packers are going to take over at their own two-yard line. Richard Sherman. Come on now. They'll start on the ground here. Talk me. First down. Come on. Able to break Give me a little bit of room. Give me a little bit of room. Down, but a nice little gain. It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. Off the play fake, he'll look to throw. I'm glad he blocked him because he would have he would have hit that and he would have fucking picked it. I'm glad he stopped that. That is a rare incompletion from him. He's been on point this entire game. He has percentage completion wise way up, not that time. On third and short, they'll try and pick it up through the air. They're looking for Andrews, but this is intercepted. Picked off by Roquan Smith. Damn, man. And he'll teach this down inside the 15 uh, yard line. Okay, it looked like he was about to go out. And we get another stop. There's a first and 10 at the 14 yard line. On first down, this is McCaffrey. 
Really? It, okay. He didn't even know that shit was about to be over, bro. 14 yards. And the Packers will take the lead here in the final minute of the first half. He didn't even know that was about to be over. Floor, he tells the offense, stay out there, go for two. I put a hard flat. That's on me. Now after the touchdown, here's Pat McAfee to kick. Come on. Uh, bro, this is like my person. It don't look like he breaking out of tackles. And he got free train too. ready to get their next drive underway with this slim deficit closing in on the end of the first half we'll see if they can move this at least into field goal range and try to get three out of this drive the Packers going to use one of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 27 seconds remaining here in the second quarter Fitzgerald on the slam and yeah. the Packers going to go ahead and use the second of their timeouts so that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. Back to back good. Oh, we got a score. We got to score. On first down. They'll set up to throw. What the fuck is he throwing it to? It is incomplete. 16 seconds now on the clock. And not a common sight, at least on this drive. A momentary setback, though, for this passing game that has been moving well this series. Good thing for them, though. Still two more downs to connect and try and pick up another first down. Another throw on second down, and this one incomplete as well. Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. Again, he'll drop to throw. Come on now. Come on now. Mark Andrews in the final seconds of the first half. And the Packers have taken the lead here in the final stages of this first half. Because when he kind of messed up on it, looked like he bumped the players that was supposed to guard him. To take the lead going into the locker room. Now they just don't want to misstep misfortune on the next kickoff because there's still a little bit of time left on that clock. Yeah, you do have to bring that up, don't you? In the NFL, every play is critical. Take the point, get it to four points. There, all that advantage they just gained goes right out the window. Koo able to connect on the extra point, and that will make this a four point game. Four seconds, all that remain here this first half as the kick gets away. And we'll still have time for one play before the half as this will be fair caught and brought out to the 25. Like Jesus gave him all that time. Like usually, I if if I had, if I didn't ever had, like if it was me, nigga, I would have been got shot. I like, nigga, I'd do the same thing for him. Two remain. Charles and I return after the break. And we welcome you back now, alongside right, Charles on, Davis. Man, get ball. Going, getting set for quarter number three here. It's been a shootout so far. We'll see which defense can make the adjustments as we get back underway in the second half. Like, I made an adjustment. Like, let's, let's not give it a fucked up, man. Like, I made an adjustment, but it's like... Six yard line just across the 25. Like, my people don't get pressure, or he just keep throwing that damn streak that I keep manning up. About like, to get this drive started. The Green Bay offense at the line. Well, Charles, in that first half, we saw a fair amount of offense on both sides of the football. And now the team trailing here will start with it in the third quarter. 
And we both know this coach pretty darn well, don't we? Because his game planning is always on point. And now that he's getting the ball to start the second half, how about all the offense that you already referenced in the first half? He'll put that all together. Give me that! He's going to be intercepted a third time. One hand. The Packers will take over Give me that. Here up at the 44. First possession of the third quarter, an interception, so maybe a second oh, half tone set. Yeah, yeah. Indeed, and not yeah, the tone they wanted to you. set. That's the equivalent of running out the wrong door and running into your pool. It's not getting it. Packer pressure, and down he goes. It looks like a loss of right around 11 there on first down to set him back on second. I'm sure a lot of time was spent in the locker room, Charles, and talking with his defense about setting a tone here in the third quarter when you're down on the scoreboard. A sack like that, maybe that can get him going. Yeah, you have to believe exactly what you just said, that they got together and said, let's be some change agents here. Let's go ahead and turn things around. Let's be the force. I, let's look at look, the type of gameplay he, he went position. down, he stood stooping to, to just try to beat me now. I, he literally sitting there doing, man, Man defense and is using their D line. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And no, and nobody can get open, dude. And nobody can get open. Looks like a nine-yard loss, and it also brings up fourth. Well, it's been a little bit of feast or famine because he's thrown for decent yardage, and obviously they've got the lead, Charles. But now he's been sacked four times. And what I'm focusing on is his toughness in the pocket. Because you mentioned the feast or famine part. He's played well in between being dumped on his back. But every time he's had a chance to throw the football, he's been Thank impressive. You. So a good punt there, but a nice return of 11 yards. And it'll be Packer football here. First down and 10. Ain't no one getting open, dude. The Packer offense ready to get their next drive underway. And the points, they have come fast and furious in this quarter. You really don't want to be on the defensive side of the ball right now, do you? Because you're either thinking my replacement may get an opportunity. Oh, well, we can't drop that. Better be on a swivel. Totally. Or maybe I just need to get out of the game for a while because I just can't slow these guys down. They've got to figure out a way to disrupt these offenses. And typically, one guy makes a big play, and that can help change things. And they'll be looking for disruption on both sides right now. A gain of three last play. This time they double it and pick up six. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers, tight ends, because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. Snap comes at one, and it's Brady. Look in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. Look at the big fella go. Touchdown. A big play there. Yeah. 61 yards. And the Packers have taken the lead here in this third quarter. Matt LaFleur, he tells the offense, stay out there, go for two. Brady will look to throw for it. And that is what the fuck? I am right there. Now after the touchdown, here's Pat McAfee to kick. Now they can't bring him down. And no alley to be found. The coverage was solid, and he's dropped at the 18. I'm really right here. They're about set to get this drive started. The Green Bay offense at the line. And these guys definitely hoping for a better showing than their last appearance. They couldn't really even move the football much beyond the shadows of their own goalpost, Charles. We'll see and if they break can get the a down. better half sustained drive going here. Yeah, and every team that we ever talk to says the exact same thing. When you start a drive from that deep in your own territory, the goal is a minimum of at least two first downs. Because even if you have to punt then, you change the field position, right? You flip the field a little bit. They didn't get that done. This time they want to string together a nice drive and help themselves out. Break the and he's gonna have a Well, never mind. He got it. Oh, what's going on now? Get the third down conversion. Now they'll switch it up here and look to throw. And this is going to be for by the tight end Andrews. And he'll be out of bounds just shy of the 40. Another 
strong gain on the last two plays. They've moved it a combined 33 yards. I tell you what, a lot of those mid-range throws have been available because sometimes the teams get too concerned about the deep ball and they leave too much space in front of them. And these guys have been taking advantage so far. Well, I'm, I'm playing Tarsi just like him. Here's Jacobs on first and ten. Man, I talk to just like him. Come on now. Man, talk to just like him. A big play on the ground there. It goes for 36 yards. Most of the damage has been done through the air. I mean, they've run the belt three times with passing touchdowns. But guess what? Ground game has not been neglected. Nice little burst right there. Trying to keep those big legs. I need him to break out of the He's going to go down in the backfield. It's second and goal. Back to the eight yard line now. He'll drop to throw. And he just chucked that one out of bounds, out of everyone's reach. Maybe a wise call not to take a sack in this part of the field. It brings up third down. Boy, that was lockdown coverage there. He's scanning for someone to come open. That was great work to blanket everyone. And in the end, he's just got to throw it away. They'll run here on third and goal. Been like this all I'm going to kick the field goal. Nowhere to run as they stop him behind the line. Field goal coming from Young Way Koo. From the left hand, should be a fairly easy one here. Koo oh, one to the post, and that'll bring him back within a point. So give him three on that drive. You know, normally you'd say we'll take it, but the way points have been flying around, it feels like I can't even see the damn down. thing. Yeah, you just have to wonder. Our field goal is going to be enough because, as you pointed out, the way touchdowns have been scored, does kicking a field goal oh. actually put you at a oh disadvantage my God. the rest of the way? And this one's going to be covered up by the Packers' hands team. I know they're down, but starting the third quarter there with the onside kick, what'd you think? Well, I think that they're looking at it as we may not have as many possessions in this game as we want. There may be that sense and that feel that they've got to go ahead and make something happen, steal a possession, try and steal some points, and get themselves right back in a position to try and win the game. Throwing on first down is Brady. Thank you, Ball Don't Lie. And they are going to set up shop at the 32-yard line. So turnovers, Charles, you figure will be key in the second half, and that's a big giveaway there. Yeah, and as you and I both know, coaches are always preaching ball security. And not more often than right here in the second half of a tight football game. Now you've got to believe what the coaches are saying and take care of that football. He's going to be out of bounds on what's going to wind up being the final play. From the 41, this is second and a yard. They're going to look to throw. And that's caught inside the 30. And he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. So now then, the big play has him all the way inside the 30 now, first and 10. They'll run on first down. It's Perry. And he's able to mow his way down to the 16-yard line. That's over 40 yards of movement with those last two plays. All right, I got to ask you, with these RPOs, essentially the quarterback has three options, right? So what's different from that versus the triple option that we see the service academies run at the college level? As a general rule, the triple option at the college level, most things are called outside of the quarterback faking it to the runner and then keeping it himself and maybe having a trail back. What I mean is... In the NFL, that option to throw the football all comes about organically. It's a natural deal based on reads. In college, if you're going to throw the football for triple option, you've actually called that play. And he's going to go down. Sacked right around the 17. Taken down for the fifth time this game. Multiple defenders there to get him. Possibly a turning point. Big play coming. This is third and long. Come on, man! Packers touchdown. That's a mark. Come on, boy. From 17 yards out, and okay, the Packers ready? have taken the fourth bro. quarter lead. Bro, I'm not playing. They're gonna keep it on the ground, and he will get into the end zone for the 
Todd, come on, out, bro. So it gives him a seven-point lead. Come on now. Following the touchdown, oh, let's here's celebrate, Cooley King. And he won't get this to the 20-yard line as he's down at the 19. <laughs> the Packer offense ready to get their next drive underway. They now trail by seven after that last touchdown here in the fourth quarter. What a big spot for this offense. See if they can cobble something together on this drive. And he'll get this up to the 30-yard line. I'm glad to see his person in break on the tackles. In the fourth quarter than Tom Brady. This is first and ten. Back to throw here. Yes, we only can't get away, and Brady will go down. And they're gonna hurry back to the line now. Brady to throw on second down. Oh, third and one, third and one. That's a good bounce back play right there after taking a sack on first down. Didn't quite get it to the marker, but now they're in a much better spot for a third and short yardage call through the offensive coordinator. You want to look at it that section a heck of a lot better than trying to figure out third and one. All three timeouts press the two-minute warning. Here's first and ten. Fourth quarter, down to the oh, final two minutes. Two minutes. Got a one-score game. So it's Packer football here as we welcome you back. They come up on a first and ten, desperately needing a score here on what could be their final drive. On first and ten, here's Brady. Over the middle, complete. That's oh, you got to drop that. And a gain of four gets him right to the midfield stripe. Brady to throw. Yes. Uh, I did not get on my unit, and that was about to be wide open. What a huge play at this point in the game. Now Brady. He's Come on, bro. Like, we right here pushing. Like, we got to knock out the Packers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. To throw is Brady. going to get out of bounds with the first down so that's going to double their pleasure for sure they get the first and save a timeout back to throw Brady steps away to his left oh come on please dog we got to get him just get rid of it Ooh, that's certainly not the worst thing. It stops the clock and lets your offense catch its breath and lets us exhale a little bit. Now I expect them to call a couple plays in the huddle, so they're ready if a tackle happens inbounds. And he will slide to a stop. He does have the first down. That's bad, the bro. going to use one of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 37 seconds to play. Back to throw. That's complete to his running back, Perry. And yes, he's into the end zone. So they get the he kept took hiking me, bro. And now the extra point can tie this thing up in the final minute. Oh, what you gonna do, bro? What you gonna do? Here we go now as we get set for a big two-point conversion. Now the Packers going to go ahead and use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop it with a little over 30 ticks to go in the football game. So here we go. The Packers will line up to go for two. They'll try and run it in. Oh, come on, bro. In Inside two. stuff. I got I Joe Plecko, bro. Like. It, but they've got themselves a lead here late in the ball game. Now after the touchdown, here's Pat McAfee to kick. 
And they'll let that one go as it skips through the back of the end zone for a touchback. This is first and ten. Back to throw. Escaping the pressure. It is instantly knock his ass down, huh? Instantly. Seeing no options, he throws it away. I see you nodding your head up and down. It's a very heady decision at this stage of the game. Out of the pocket, nowhere to go. Just get rid of it. That's a smart play because you're not worried about your completion percentage and you're also not trying to force it into bad traffic as well. Throw the ball away, live to fight another down. He's back to throw. And this one too low. The way he's throwing the football today, almost a surprise when he doesn't complete a pass like happened there, but he needs a few more to get his guys downfield. Well, the way he's thrown it leads him to believe that he's going to get those completions. And that means the guys going out for passes, they'll run even harder because they expect it as well. This definitely four down territory at this point, but a critical third down here. Track 60. They'll look to throw. I'm getting instant sack, dude. Instant sack, bro. I lost, bro. I lost that. My people are dead ass getting instant sack right now. But collectively as a defense, Charles, I think if you get four sacks a game, you're feeling really good. Now they have six as a unit. And that type of a number, it's just staggering because there's so many ways to try and counteract it. But in this case, they've got no answers for this unrelenting pressure coming at their quarterback. Go, Reed, go! It has you an instant stack, bro. Got to try it here. He's back to throw. Come on. Gets this to Moore and brought down, but a big Come on now. The game that they needed. And the only thing to keep in mind here is with him being tackled in bounds, that clock is moving. They'll come up first and ten here. Seven pirates, seven pirates. Check mask, check mask. He'll look to throw. Come on. A slant to Jones. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. Come on now. He will get a timeout. With two Come on now. Left. Come on now. Come on, just make it. Yeah, quit, bitch. 316 um yards with, with four touchdowns. Oh, we gonna. Oh, he. he oh, you want to go for it now? Oh, yo, yo, you you change your mind? Like, like nigga, I got um focus kicker. I got ice, nigga, all that shit. Like, nigga, yo, if, if you call the timeout, that ain't gonna mean nothing. Young Way Koo, all eyes fixing. Wasting my time right now. You wasting my time right now. Gonna burn their third you wasting and my time. Time out. And as the two teams talk it over on their respective sidelines, uh, we take a break. I gotta see about this nigga. I got that shit on them too. It looks good and it is good from 50. Come on, man. Come on, man. Charles, normally when you see a group score this many points, it's a complete blowout. But instead, hey, come on now. Go home, bro. Go home. Get off my game, bro. Get off my game, bro. Come on now. Player stats, man. Nobody want to see that little ugly ass Tom Brady. Man, 19 completion, 29 attempts, 316 yards, 65 completion rating, four touchdown, one interception. Longest is 35 yards. Um, rushing couldn't really do rushing with him because he he want to play like a little punk. Let me have fun, but he had one one attempt, one with four yards, and we we was out here sharing the rock, bro. Herman Moore 
Get a clutch catch right there. Man, we were sharing the rock, bro. Wherever it was open, we was dotting them up. So, hey, man, we're going to end it off right here. Man, what a clutch win. Clutch win. So, man, if y'all like that video, like, comment, subscribe. Um, post notifications. I don't miss no videos coming out. And, uh, instead, have a blessed day.